we'd love to leave you all with a little bit of inspiration, affirmation. So Brie, hit us with it. All right. So I put this in my G stories, I feel like last week, but I thought it was really appropriate for the end of July going into August and it being the summertime. So here we go. Okay. So this is from a poet. Her name is Morgan Harper Nichols. Let July be July and let August be August and let yourself just be even in the uncertainty. You don't have to fix everything. You don't have to solve everything. And you can still find peace and grow in the wild of changing things. Um, Yeah, I thought that was really fun because, you know, for me, uncertainty, the pressures and the feelings, but sometimes we do just got to let go, right? And just kind of find peace and grow in the wild of changing things and just roll with the punches. And I thought that kind of brought that out. Well, and I think too, like something you and I have really worked on as of late and like, this is like where it kind of hits is patience. Oh yeah. I feel like, and and I, and I, I know I always go back to this, but it's because I think where this is where a lot of the anxieties come from is social media and seeing what people around you do, um, people you don't know do. Um, But I think what we can all work on and all learn is just having patience knowing that your time will come when it's to do something or be something, book a gig, close a deal, um, you know, have a proposal, whatever it may be. And it's something I've had to work on because sometimes even if I have meetings or do something, I want to close the deal. I want to get it. I want to hear the yes. I don't, you know, and I've really taught myself, especially in this day and age that I just, you have to have patience. It's like, I need patience as a mother. I need patience as a wife. I need patience as an entrepreneur, as a TV star. Like when I start to look at all these things, cause I, I'm someone who I want to know my fault. I want to know exactly my calendar and I want to know this and I want to have that. And sometimes I have to tell myself like, okay, I can't fix everything. I can't solve everything. So find your peace and grow, be in the wild, let it flow. Just like what your inspiration said, have patience and it'll happen. Right. And what's meant to be will be. Yeah. And sometimes change is really magical because it gives you all the different feelings. It gets you nervous, excited, kind of like earlier when I told you my experience about seeing a bear so up close, it made me feel so many different things, but in the end it was a magical experience and that's change. Change is like you get scared, you are excited, you just don't know. And all, but then in the end it's just magical and we just have to work on that. We do because, you know, I remember I had a show opportunity come to me and it wasn't exactly the right fit, but the money was amazing. And it was at that point where I was like, yes, I want to do this. You know, it it was maybe six months after Mateo and I was eager and blah, blah, blah. And our team told me, wait, wait. And I was like, wanted to say yes. They held me back. And then guess what came in a few months later? AGT Extreme. If I would have said yes to that project, I would have been locked in a contract and I wouldn't have been able to do AGT Extreme. So I was forced to have patience. But what that taught me was sometimes like things come in and you just have to feel it, but there's something else waiting. So like just just have that. And and I compare that not just TV world, but that's in, you know, relationships and, you know, you could take that anywhere and it's just having that that patience and something, something always, it always works out. I always say when you're a good person, it always works out. I agree. All right, everyone until next week, I guess have a little bit of patience and enjoy the change.